Welcome once again as we continue our study in the Song of Songs and we're looking at chapter 5 verse 2. I slept, but my heart was awake. A sound, a voice, my beloved is knocking. Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my perfect one. For my head is wet or drenched with dew, my locks with the drops of the night. So here we see her fourth encounter with her shepherd king husband. I slept, but my heart was awake when I heard my lover knocking and calling. Open to me, my treasure, my darling, my dove, my perfect one. My head is drenched with dew and my hair with the dampness of the night. But I responded, I have taken off my robe. Should I get dressed again? I have washed my feet. Should I get them soiled? And even in our sleep, he calls out to us. Sleep offers us an opportunity to escape the reality of this world for a time, possibly just being dead to this world. And yet our inner man and heart, which in Hebrew is lab, still remains alert to the Lord. Often in scripture we can see that even though we're asleep, our spirits are still engaging in spiritual terms. It's still open to Holy Spirit, even other things. But here she is outwardly at rest, but inwardly she remains alert to her husband king's desire for continual and eternal intimacy. And probably as in Revelation, the knocking precedes his calling voice. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, whosoever hears my voice. His calling voice then follows his knocking. And his voice again emphasizes the fact that her free will is entrenched. She must open the door to him. God will never force his way in. We must ask him. That is part of our free will offering to him. Saying, Lord, truly, I want to have you in an intimate way right now. She wakes up and realizes that he's not with her in the inner chamber anymore, but he's calling her to allow him in, into her deepest recesses. There is an intimation here that he's, he's actually asking to go deeper with her. That there is areas that are now exposed where she realizes that he's not there in our life, in our emotions, in our being, that we really want God to become part of the fullness of who we are. And let us open up those areas to him and ask him to come into our deepest, deepest recesses. Therefore, for all this is for your benefit. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies, our outer man, are dying or perishes, our spiritual man, the inner man or being, is renewed day by day, Paul tells us. Let me in, dear companion, dearest friend, my love, consummate lover. I'm soaked with the dampness of night, drenched with the dew, shivering and cold. What rejection did our husband king have to go through for him now to insist on her intimate love and insisting on her allowing him into those deep recesses? This most probably alludes to his sufferings, waiting patiently for her to be fully open to him. On the cross we know that he endured for the joy set before him. While he wrestled with his destiny and the will of the Father in the dew of the night, he went through great agony for her, for you, for me, for us. His sweat fell like great drops of blood. While Jesus was here on earth, he offered prayers and pleadings with loud cries and tears to the one who could rescue him from death. And God heard his prayers because of his deep reverence or fear for God. It is also entirely possible that the night mists or drops from the locks refer to the crown of thorns. Here he is despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Yet he carried the burden of sin. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And again, as I said just earlier, here he declares that for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And now the invitation stands. Let me in, dear companion, dearest friend, my dove, my consummate lover. Now he pursues us out of heaven while we are here. He pursues us the love of his life. So today, let us open up every area of our whole being and say, Lord God, we are yours. 
in spirit, in soul, in body, in mind, in subconscious mind, every single area in every recess belongs to you. I am yours and you are mine and your banner over me is love. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, thank you for redeeming me and making me righteous and reconciling me through the adoption to you in Christ Jesus, my Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen.